guys, I'm Tanya with Scraptastic Creations and I am so excited to be here. We are celebrating. All week long, the creative design team has been scrap lifting one of Jama Malmi's layouts in celebration of an amazing milestone. With hard work, dedication, and an amazing amount of talent, she has reached 10,000 subscribers on YouTube. Wow, what an accomplishment. And I am honored to have been asked to join in on that celebration and scrap lift one of her layouts. I hope that I can make her proud. So let me show you the paper that I've chosen. I am gonna use Life's a Hoot because Life's a Hoot. This paper is double-sided. So you get two of each design and it comes with an amazing sticker sheet. And these sticker sheets are have a gold foil to them and are so super cute and such an amazing quality, okay? So let me get started. So this is the layout I chose to scrap lift. Jama created this nine months ago and this was easy mixed media and paper laying layout. So we are going to recreate this today and put my own little spin on it. So let's get started. So I'm gonna bring in my Versamat and I've already put a white daisy sheet on there and I'm using those beautiful periwinkle and uh, lagoon and glacier pieces out of that Life's a Hoot. And the very first thing she did was she went ahead and tore these strips of paper and they are two inches wide. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that real quick. So then I'm gonna bring in a couple of strips of periwinkle glitter paper. And I'm gonna put that right underneath of there. And I am actually gonna get those glued down. And then I'm going to bring in my uh, all-purpose mat and we're gonna do some fun mixed media. I'm gonna bring in these stencils. Uh, Jama had used a different stencil and we're gonna go ahead and do the same. This is a card front stencil pack one and I'm gonna do these um, like swooshes. Um, I kind of, they reminded me of like a leaf kind of thing. And so I am gonna use some flowers and I'm bringing in ballerina ink and I'm just gonna take my blending brush and I'm gonna hold this here and I'm gonna work this in right here. So you could go ahead and tape this down if you wanted to um, with some light, uh, low tack tape, but I'm not gonna do that because we're only gonna use this for just a minute. And then we're gonna move it. So this gives it a lot of, a lot of um, character right here. I really like the look of this. This is really simple and such a fun way to add an interest to your background and even give it some color if you if you are if you're working on a layout and you're like, "Oh, there's too much blank space." So, using a stencil and adding just a little bit of color here and just a little bit of the image, not the whole image, gives it a lot of character. I mean, look how pretty that looks. Okay? So then I'm gonna bring in my salvaged patina. So she used some lemon aid and some lemon um, colors on her um, layout. And I'm going to bring in this salvaged patina because it matches my stuff. And Jama went ahead and used a bag, but I'm gonna use a sheet of acetate. And I already looked at these colors. I looked at speckled egg, which matches beautifully, but I wanted more of a bright look. And 
I'm gonna bring in, like I said, the salvage patina. And this is real easy to do. We're just inking on our mat and we're gonna give it a couple sprays. And then I'm going to just lightly pick up some of that color. And then I'm going to transfer it lightly up here. And I'm gonna pick up a little more. I'm just kind of bringing this all around where I think I'm going to have some blank spaces and I want to add some color. Maybe just a little bit more right here. So this is this is a really fun technique. I mean, just how I added that ink real easy, real quickly right there. Then she did something that was really neat, okay? I'm gonna bring in this background element stamp set, okay? And I'm gonna bring in this splatter. And it, what I thought was really cool was that instead of putting this on a block like you would traditionally do, Jama took her fingers to give it more of a controlled splatter and she stamped it that way and you didn't get this whole image you just got a little bit of it and I'm going to bring in the periwinkle and we're going to do that how fun and cool is that I never would have thought to stamp this way with my with my fingers. I mean, I just thought this was so very cool. Okay, so just like that, I like the way it looks. So I chose this particular layout because it had one photo on it and I have one photo as well. And this photo is a picture of my daughter and Jameis' photo was a four by six and mine is a five by seven. I made mine bigger because I wanted my daughter to be the star of the show and I just loved the way it looked so my my uh, layout's going to be a little different than than Jama's. Um, I already cut into this paper so I have a bunch of little scraps and I literally just cut and didn't even I, there's nothing measured you can use just little bits of paper and bring in lots of colors and patterns by layering this and just creating this super fun look. So I'm going to kind of put this here and maybe bring this up here. So while, while, we, while I build this layout and I mess around with these um, papers, I wanted to talk to you a little bit about Jama. So I met Jama several years ago at a convention for Close to My Heart. And we just were kind of there and didn't, know a lot of people and we hung out with about three or four um, friends that we had met and we went to lunch and met for in the like assembly hall and sat together and met for dinner and just had just had some really nice talks and enjoyed each other's company. Um, she is a very sweet person. She's um, not only is she an amazing maker and and hard worker, but she is super, super friendly and helpful as well. And I am I am super glad to have her in my life. Um, she just she's just a really sweet, kind person. Um, I would call her selfless because she goes out of her way to help others when she doesn't have to. So I, I am blessed to 
to know her and I am so honored to be able to do this for her celebration. I'm wanting to bring in the Picture of My Life cards. I love these cards and I really loved this flower pattern. And I thought that that would be really fun to layer under here. So I'm just gonna kind of, I'm just gonna cut this and layer this under here. So I did a lot of fussing with that, but I got all of my pieces in my photo glued down. Now I wanna bring in these flowers. So these thin cuts are the Daisy Daisy, and I took these and I cut these metal dies out on my embossing machine. And you get three little fun pieces for your flower plus a center. So these are really easy to put together. You can put them on top, but I kind of, I kind of turned them so I could get a lot of dimension and it looked like a lot of layering on my flowers. And then you just glue this on top. And then I like to um, curl up my edges. Sometimes I do them up if the, my leaves, I crease them. Um, so I do a lot of playing with my flowers. I'll take my piercing tool and I just kind of run these underneath and I'll do each layer that way. Um, some people go ahead and play with them with just their fingers and I do that as well after I use the piercing tool I'll then go and fold and and kind of mold and um, shape my flowers because I just don't want them flat I want them to have a little bit of uh, I call it bringing them to life so these are some of the flowers that I went ahead and I glued together already and I cut my center out in gold glitter paper so I wanted to bring in two different glitter papers. Uh, Jama did that. She brought in the harbor and she brought in the white glitter paper in her leaves. So I'm bringing in the periwinkle and the gold. So these are my flowers and I'm just kind of going to um, create a couple of uh, embellishment clusters. I like to follow the rule of three and um, create that visual triangle so you can it takes your eyes all the way around my um, layout. So I'm kind of just placing these flowers around here. And I went ahead and cut, uh, took the sticky off of some of the stickers from that sticker sheet that I wanted to use. And I went ahead and did that by just pulling them out with my anti-static pouch. I took them off and then I literally just took this little powder in here and tapped these and took the sticky right off. And I, I've gotten some questions from some customers and even some of my friends and said, why would you take the sticker off of stickers if you're just gonna stick them down? And the reason why is so I can play with them and move them around my layout and even put some foam tape and give some of my stuff some dimensions so that is why I do I do that, because I like to kind of move stuff around and play with it. So I'm gonna bring in the title Smiles. I was thinking about doing Everyday Smiles, but I went ahead and decided, decided just to do Smiles. So we're gonna play with that in a few minutes. And then I also cut some gold leaves from the sprigs and leaves thin cuts these are some thin cuts in the close to my heart catalog i cut these in gold glitter paper and then i also cut these in some glacier and i use the dark side of the glacier cardstock all of our cardstock is two-toned so you have a lighter side and a darker side i love that it gives you a a lot of options especially when you're playing with flowers so these flowers were cut only from two different color papers and you, I, I've got three different looks here. So I, I love that. And then I, um, I want to, I just want to bring in a little bit more gold. So let's play with this and see what we can come up with.
trying to think of how to come up with a way. I had this left over from a card kit, Life is Better with Friends with this little heart. And I don't want that on here, but I just wanted the white circle. And so I just thought that I would just use the circle and that I flipped it over and then it just gives me another circle. But I don't want it white like that. So I was trying to think of, well, what could I do to give it that gold and make it like the rest of them? So I'm gonna take one of the stickers, these little gold like star thingies. I'm gonna take one of these off the sticker page. And I'm going to take my anti-static pouch, just kind of remove that for a minute. And I, I didn't take it all off. And I was just going to kind of play with that right there. Just add a little bit of gold in there. And that just gives it just a little bit of gold added into that. And I'm going to add, I'm going to add one butterfly. And I need to add this butterfly, and there's a reason I need to add this butterfly. But I'm not going to tell you what that reason is, because you're just going to have to wait and see. But there is going to be a fun little reason why I'm doing that. So I'm just kind of play with this gold thing, so because I want you to be able to see the gold underneath of there. So that's kind of cute. Let's kind of get it kind of just peeking up just a little bit. There, and I'm gonna pop up some of this stuff. But I think that looks pretty good. So I'm gonna glue this down and I'll be right back. I got these glued down and I went ahead and popped the flower here, the flower here, and the flower here. And then I just took my leaves and my finger and I just kind of curled these up. And believe it or not, they will kind of stay that way. They won't lie flat in your um, memory protector. So I went ahead and I was playing with how I had this. And I decided that I really don't like that sticker there. It's just, it's too small. And I know it was a little pop of gold. But I came up with this idea that I would go ahead and just get out a ruler and get out my gold spectrum noir metallic paint pen and then I thought that I would just go ahead and take that circle and maybe make my own lines there with this so if you're liking this video please hit the subscribe button and the like button and if you don't want to miss another video that I post, go ahead and hit the notification button, that little bell, and you'll be notified. And I really appreciate your support. So I like that. It's not perfect, but I think it gives me enough color that I was looking for back there. We'll go ahead and move this out of the way. And we will move this back in here. And I'm just going to kind of add some glue. Never throw your extra pieces away. You can always use them for something. <laughs> um, yeah, so that is giving that that circle and it kind of matches and looks pretty good. And I'm going to kind of bend up my butterfly here. So since this video is a celebration video honoring Jama, what are some of the techniques that you learned by watching her videos? What is something that you've seen that you just, you never thought of and you were just like, wow, that's pretty cool. I never would have thought of that. So I have learned I have learned quite a few different things. I've also gotten a lot of inspiration watching her videos. But one of the coolest things that I learned here was just recently. And if you stay tuned to the end, I'm going to give you a quick little tip that I learned watching her video. And it just, it was just mind boggling for me because I don't know why I never thought of it. But it's like, it's perfect. And 
I will share that with you at the end. Okay, so I'm not finished. I'm gonna go ahead and bring in some gold glitter gems. I absolutely love things sparkly and shiny and I just think that it's so pretty. And I love, I love just adding a few little gems here and there. So I think I'm gonna call this layout done. Got my little glue on the back of there. This has lots of shine, lots of dimension. I think it's super pretty and I'm really happy with the way that it came out. So we have some stencil on here, some splattering with the, the, with the distressed oxides and some fun stamping with your fingers, lots of glitter, lots of sparkle and shine. And this was a lot of fun to create. So I just wanna show you a quick little tip that I learned watching one of Jama's videos. I'm gonna bring in my Versa mat. And one of the things that we know that she absolutely loves is shimmer brushes. Who does not love shimmer brushes? These are some of my favorite things and she loves to splatter ink. So one of the fun little things that I just learned watching one of her videos was when I go to color like with my shimmer brushes, which is a super cool fun technique, I would normally take my shimmer brush and I would like squirt some ink on my piece of paper here and just to kind of get it coming out and then I would go to color. Well, I'm wasting all of that ink because now all of that is going to soak into this paper and be wasted. So I saw in one of her videos where she had this block on here and she just puts it on this clear block and then throughout her entire project, she can go back and pick up the, it's not gonna soak into one of these blocks. So she just goes back and she can pick up the ink in order to color and keep coloring. And I just, it's something simple like that that I learned from watching one of her videos that was like a game changer for me. So I just thought I would share that to you with you. Again, if you like this video, Please hit the like button and, the, and subscribe and until next time.